Say hello, everybody! <laughs> this is our fantastic team here today. We're Inspire Hope Outreach underway at Havana and Colfax. I love you guys. You're the best. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello everybody, Facebook Live, YouTube. We are here today, Havana and Colfax. I, I took a moment to get our piece of our team together just to welcome you and let you know what we're doing out here today. We're out here loving on people. We're out here caring for people. We're out here sharing Jesus. We were pretty busy for a little bit. We got a little break in the buses coming through and, and the traffic. So we got a time to hang out and talk to each other. But we're here right behind me. You can see Havana and Colfax here in Denver, Colorado. It's a very busy area, an area of need. And we're out here to share Jesus today. We're out here to let people know that they love them. We've had several people walk up today and they're like, why are you guys doing this? What, what, what's going on? So it gives us an opportunity to say, hey, we're out here to let people know that we love you, that God loves you, that we care. And, you know, some people are receptive. Other people, they're off doing what they need to do. But we're going to do our part today to share Jesus with those in need. This is our outreach, first of the month outreach. This is the first outreach for 2020. God has laid on our hearts to open a new outreach this year. And I'm feeling in my soul it's going to be somewhere around Easter. We're going to find a new location, another area. And we'll go out on the second Saturday of each month. So we'll be out three Saturdays of the month. And we're just going to, I don't know what we'll do. I don't know where the area is yet. God will lead us and guide us. And we'll just bring a few things and share Jesus with people and love on some. Somebody. So I just wanted to come today and let you know that we're out here, we're active, we're taking care of business, we're doing what we can, and I know you can do the same thing. I'll turn the camera around, let you see what we got going on out here. Havana and Colfax, Denver, Colorado. We're going to share the love of Jesus with people today. Would you like something to drink or eat today? It's free. Okay. All right. God bless you. Hello. It's a very busy area. Active. A lot of buses. A lot of people going to their jobs. Or There's a significant homeless area in this area, too. So... But right now, we're just loving on people. We got people just walk up. They see our signs that say free water, free food, um, need prayer. And it gives us an opportunity to share Jesus with them. There goes my brother over there. He's got a bag full of food, some Jesus stickers. And he's going to go hit the bus stops um, on the other side of the street and share Jesus over there. Give out free waters and snacks. And as you see, people just roll up. And we're able to share with them and give them something to eat and let them know that we care. Thank you all for your love for this ministry. We're able to Go buy some socks and toiletries and different things like that. Bottles of water, things to share and to give people today. Sometimes a little something new is what somebody needs. Give them a snack. A lot of people going hungry this time of year. Praise God, we're able to be out here today because of you and your care and prayers for this ministry. You know, God's been speaking to my heart about, you know, what we do and why we do what we do. And the reality is that it's about the one. It's about the one person, the one salvation, the one who who is blessed, the one who feels loved today. Sometimes in our lives, it, it, it's very important that we that we feel loved, that, that we recognize that someone cares for us. And, and that's what we're trying to do out here is just to let 
individuals know that someone cares, that someone loves them, and most importantly, that God loves them, that Jesus loves them. So we're out here at Colfax and Havana. We'll be out here for the next couple uh, couple few hours. As you can see behind me, it's, it's still a little cold. <laughs> we still got snow on the ground from our last snow. But amen, that don't stop us. We keep rolling. Turn the camera around and let you see what's going on. This is our location. We got Havana right there, Colfax over here. Very busy. Lots of foot traffic, lots of bus traffic. Here we have one bus stop over here. Here we have our ministry table and another bus stop over there. thing about this location is we get a little downtime when we're downtown I, as you've seen from some of my videos it's it's crazy and it's it's just non-stop and we're feeding and clothing hundreds at a time but here we get a chance to just share and a chance to talk and a chance to let them know that 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 we care would you like something to eat or drink today it's free it's right there okay god bless you and you just got to let them know you just got to open the opportunity and give them amen so we're giving we're giving that away. Yes. Amen. The lady who said she told us that she would like one. Amen. Amen. Great. Amen. <laughs> so we do have a couple of sleeping bags left. We're down to our last few. We've been they were donated to this ministry, and, and praise God, we were able to personally give them out to people we talk to and people we pray to with. And this woman behind me is homeless, and she needs some warmth. She needs something to keep her and so we're able to give give her one of our one of the sleeping bags that y'all have wonderfully donated to this ministry so if god lays on your heart to support we need support we're we 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 personally buy a lot of things to give out but we also rely on your donations of finances to buy the things but also items clothing food we do not have a supplier of food anymore so we I was down this morning getting snacks and stuff together and I was noticing our supply is running low. So if you feel like donating some granola bars or Vienna sausages or something like that, man, let me know. Hit me up. Call me. My phone number's out there. Um, message me, whatever. We need your help and your support. Turn the camera around and let you see what's going on today. Havana and Colfax Inspire Hope Outreach. Would you like something to eat or drink today? This is what it's all about, folks. The items are a way for us to get in contact, a way to share, to bless. But the reality and the most important thing is the act of prayer, the act of love, the act of sharing with an individual, like I said a minute ago, the one. Maybe this whole day is to bless this one woman. Hallelujah. Amazing and wonderful. She now has a sleeping bag and she can at least sleep warm tonight, wherever that may be. Here we have more people coming up, trying to get a little something to eat, a snack. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it, it doesn't take a lot to do something like this, to find a spot in your neighborhood, in your town, and just go out and put, you know, a few things out on a curb like we did. And for months, we didn't even have the little table set up or nothing. Uh, but uh, we were able to just come out here, and it's grown, and, and we've been able to provide for a little bit. And it's just a great way to spend a Saturday, let me tell you. And if you're in the Denver metro area, please consider joining us. Maybe the downtown one where it's huge and very busy isn't your cup of tea. This one's very chill, very relaxed. We have time to talk with people. We have time to pray with people. We have time to share. Or maybe you like the busyness. You like giving away bulk clothes and things like that. 
Join us on the third Saturday of the month, downtown Civic Center Park. Be a part of this ministry. And if at the very least, please, please, please pray for us as we follow God's lead and where he wants us to go and what he wants us to do. Because, you know, the devil likes to mess with my head and bring doubts that we'll be able to continue this ministry and keep growing. And so pray for Pastor Joel as I deal with, um, as I deal with these things that are going on um, and, and that God will bring the volunteers, the, the team to keep this ministry going and the items and the stuff that we need to press forward into 2020 and open another outreach opportunity uh, sometime around Easter is when God laid on my heart. Got to have a new place and a new outreach. So, I mean, I, I'm a little stressy. <laughs> so, um, pray for me <laughs> as we go that route that God will provide what we need, but also will provide the location give me peace of mind over the whole thing. I'll turn the camera around let you see what's going on. As you can see behind me, it's a powerful day. People are being touched for Jesus and loved. Beautiful. There comes my sister Jenna. She brought her cross out today. Sweet. <laughs> Amen. My brother in law Bill, my brother Joseph. Amen. It's a good day. Jenna. We're on Facebook Live. What you got with you today? I got a cross. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bill. Come on over here. There's Angel. Hey, everybody. <laughs> what are y'all doing out here today? Sharing the good news of the gospel. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. There's so much bad news. Yeah. Yeah. And more bad Jesus than good. and yeah. the disciples constantly said to get to go that we could pursue the good news of the gospel. And there is good news because our hope is not in this world. Our hope is in the eternal kingdom of Jesus. Amen. And that's what we're doing with the cross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to tear up Havana and Colfax over here for the next couple of hours. Thank you all for coming. You're amazing. What's happening, Bill? We're doing good. We're doing great. Amen. Angel. Okay. All right. God bless you. Jenna, love Woo! you. All right. So we're going to get busy. We got people to pray with. We got people being prayed with right behind me. Y'all can do this. You can be a part of this ministry. You can just help in any way you can. You can find a corner, make some sandwiches, buy some toiletries, go to the dollar store like we do, get, get some toothbrushes, some, some soap, some... Uh, different things like that socks you know, we have people who donate new underwear and we buy chips and drinks and all that stuff you can invest a few you can invest a few bucks into something like this we do hallelujah thanks to you and your love and support i'm gonna turn the camera around one more time let me see what we got going on here today home for jesus ladies and gentlemen <laughs> show me that one more time there we go there we go that's that's bill that's bill's job we get we get the horns honking all day long, and we let people know that Jesus is there and that they can... And I get the most fingers. You do, <laughs> you do indeed. And we got the big cross today, hallelujah. We got prayer going on, hallelujah. See, we got buses pulling up over here. We got lots of stuff going on. All right, I need to get busy. We got buses unloaded. We're going to pray for people. We're going to bless people. We're going to care for people today. We're going to let them know that Jesus loves them and that we love them. 
Look at that picture right there. That's what we're doing out here today. Praying, let people know that God is here with them. Hallelujah. Ah, what a day. I love you. God bless you. I don't want to turn it off yet. I'm going to let y'all see some more. Would y'all like something to eat or drink today? It's free. Revival breaking out here on a event in Colfax this morning. Amen. All right, God bless you. Uh, Got to get busy here. Have a great day. Find some way to inspire hope in someone today. People hungry for Jesus right there. You go get them, Bill. Hungry for Jesus. All right. Love y'all. Have a great day. Thank you for your love and support for this ministry. Keep loving, keep supporting. I love you. Have a great day. God bless. Inspire Hope Outreach is underway.